Hey everyone, it's Nick Valenti with NJ Valenti Art, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to use the Pixel Persona in Affinity Designer for sketching. Alright, here we have a 16 by 20 blank canvas set up. And if we come over here to our Layers panel, and right down here in the bottom right, we see this checkerboard paper here says Add Pixel Layer, and next to that we see one with a bent corner that says Add Layer. This one here is for the design persona for vector layers. Uh, and we're in the pixel persona, so we're going to want to add a pixel layer here. So we'll just go ahead and click on that, and it brings up a new pixel layer for us to start working with. And our main sidebar here, you'll see some uh, tools you may be familiar with if you used any sort of digital drawing programs before. So we have our marquee selection tools here. And the other cool thing about Affinity is right down here at the bottom, they will show you the different button commands you could use. So if we want to add a square or take away some of that space as well, all of those button commands are listed right down here at the bottom. Uh, Control D to deselect that. And we'll have a freehand selection tool here as well. So if you want to make a more freehand selection of a certain shape to either move it, flip it, or change the color on something. I'll control D to deselect that. We have our brush selection tool as well, and we have a flood select tool, so this would be good for selecting a large swath of color. We have a pixel tool, which is a pixel brush. It is just a single pixel, which works great for pixel art. I'll have a video coming up on that soon. Uh, then we get into our flood fill tools, dodge, burn, smudge, um, move tool views, um, and then we have our brush and eraser tools here, which will be the main focus of what we'll be covering today. So if we select our main brush here, and then come over to our brushes panel up here at the very top, it's uh, grouped with the color swatches and stroke. Um, if you don't see this panel here, if you come up here to view and down to studio, you can see which panels you have open currently, the ones with the check marks next to them. Uh, and the um, ones you don't have open, which you could just select simply by clicking on it, and it will pop up that menu. And then you can drag and dock it wherever you may like on your side panels here. Affinity offers quite a few brush sets already, and they offer more on their website for purchase. Um, they have plenty of options here for digital painting, whether it's acrylic, squashes, oils. Um, they even have basic, which would be your more traditional digital media, uh, similar to Photoshop brushes. Um, but we'll come on down here to pencils. And I like the uh, natural pencil 4B here. So I'll go ahead and select that one. Uh, and you could come in here and you can try out these different pencil ones and see which one you may like and works for your particular illustration style. Let's take a quick look at our top menu here. Um, you can see up here the three features of Affinity Designer. So we have the uh, designer persona, uh, the pixel persona, which we're currently working in here for our sketching, and export persona. I will be covering each of these as well as the overall workflow for Affinity Designer in another video coming soon. Uh, there are also various features up here um, I don't really concern myself too much with when it comes to just sketching, um, but we do have our basic flip horizontal features, uh, we have some snapping guides as well. Uh, and below that, this line here, these features here pertain to whatever tool we have selected. So right now we have the brush tool selected. So here we could change the size of the brush. Uh, the opacity, flow, and hardness of the brush. So this will all control how much of a line that we see or don't see in the overall flow um, of the lightness and darkness of the brush we're using. We also have some stabilizer options and a uh, force pressure to control size. So by selecting that, the more you press on the pen, on your pen tablet, the thicker the line you will have. Now right over here, to the right, you have one of my favorite features in Affinity Designer and the Pixel Persona, and it's the Symmetry tool. So if we go ahead and click on this, you see we get our symmetry line here. Now if I just click on this line and slowly start to turn it, I'll hold Shift once I get close to uh, being completely vertical, and it'll snap right in line. Now I can come up here and select the mirror option, so whatever I draw on one side will mirror to the other side. And I will go ahead and lock this guide in place as well. This number one here is the number of symmetry lines. So this little drop down here, we could drag and we can add more symmetry lines. 
So this offers a lot of different ways of being really creative with whatever illustrations you may be working on and creating certain pattern illustrations and, and things of that nature. But I'm going to go ahead and keep it on one for now. So with our brush tool selected, we have a new pixel layer here and we've got our symmetry mode on here. So you can see as we're drawing here, how it's being mirrored to both sides of the line at the same time. This is helpful in making sure you concentrate on one side and knowing that it's going to be mirrored perfectly to the other side. And add a new pixel layer. And this works really well if you want certain repeating patterns that you want to match up on both sides as well. So it certainly will work for a situation where you're looking at a face or an animal, something like that straight on. That way you can have the perfect perspective on each side. Or if you're looking at trying to create more of a patterned background or illustration in general, this will allow whatever you're drawing on one side to be mirrored directly to the other side. This is one of my favorite features in Affinity Designer. I use it in quite a bit of my work and um, I hope you find it useful as well. I have really come to enjoy uh, sketching in the Pixel Persona and Affinity Designer. Um, I like it because I get to come up with my initial idea in Affinity Designer, sketch it out using the tools that they have available which really fits my style of illustration. And then, once I've got the sketch to a point I like, and I'm ready to move on to the next step, the next actual vector phase of the process, all I have to do is come up here and switch over to the designer persona. I now have all of my vector tool options available, and I can simply create a new vector layer and start my vector process. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments below whether you use the Pixel Persona for sketching and what features you like most. Also like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more tutorials. You can also find ways of supporting the channel by clicking support the channel on my YouTube banner. Keep after your goals and until next time.